Well, hey there, guys, and welcome back. This week's show <sighs> relates to this guy. Well, this might be one of the most bizarre projects I'm going to put on the show. Um, but I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. If my show helps just one person, then uh, it was worth doing. Well, <sighs> this thing here. The Roomba, the, one of those robotic vacuums. And this is my wife's, and uh, it gets run every day throughout the week uh, just to kind of maintain the carpets and maintain the upper floor of the house until she gets a chance on the weekend to run the, the, uh, the full-size vacuum around the house. But as great as this little unit is, it does have a problem when docking. Well, if you don't have any experience with one of these, basically you hit the clean button and uh, this thing suddenly leaves its docking station here and drives all over your house vacuuming your hardwood floors or your carpets. And eventually, once the battery gets down to a certain uh, level of charge, it starts flashing the word dock on the top and it starts heading back at its own slow pace back to this docking unit and eventually it does roll up onto it and uh, it sits onto its contacts shuts off and starts charging again the problem is and you just saw it there just a little bit as it docks do you see that you see how that docking station is moving and my wife likes to keep this uh, in the living room underneath a clock that we have in the corner and the the problem is is that after it bumps this thing a few times now it's all funkified and sideways and of course it has problems docking. So I've been thinking how I can correct this problem and I've come up with one of the most simple silly solutions that I think I could ever uh, get my little pea brain to formulate and it all starts with some one eighth of an inch thick hardboard. Well here we have it, a piece of one eighth inch hardboard and uh, MDF, hardboard, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same stuff. And on this side here, this edge, what we have is a 12 inch wide piece. And what we need to do, or what I've come up with, is to, we're going to get this, uh, this square on here, and we're just going to draw a line on a 45 right across this. And this way now, we'll have 12 inches by 12 inches with a 45 across here. And we're going to take this over to the table saw and we're going to cut this piece off. Guys, one thing I want to emphasize when you're cutting MDF or hardboard is uh, the dust that is uh, given from this stuff when cutting it or sanding it is absolutely brutal. So don't mess around guys, use dust collection and get that dust mask on because you do not want this fine MDF dust to get into your lungs. It's not about the eyes and the ears and all that jazz, it's also about the respiratory. So guys, please get a dust mask on. Well here we have our triangle that we just finished cutting at the table saw and what we need to do now is find the center of it. So we're just gonna, we, we could measure, you know, and all that schnazzy jazz, but you don't really need to because all you need to do is set a square from your bottom edge up and align it with the tip and just draw a straight line and you will find that that will be the exact center of your triangle and we can measure that if we want just to ensure that that's what it is and of course it is. Now you may be wondering where I'm going with this and what we're trying to do is to extend our docking station. So at this point in time now what we're going to do is take our little docking station here and we're going to place it kind of two-thirds back into our little triangle and centered on our center line. And once we get that lined up, 
And of course, it doesn't have to be super perfect. You would like to have it somewhat perfect. Once you get it lined up, you want to trace around the perimeter of your docking station. Just like that. Well, now that we have our docking station marked out onto here, um, our next course of action is we're going to head over to the scroll saw and we're going to cut this out. But we're going to run this uh, probably with a number three blade on the scroll saw and we're going to be cutting on the outside of this line just to give us a little bit of wiggle room. And I don't mean like an eighth of an inch out, I mean just run the curve of the blade on the outside. You don't want a lot of wiggle room, just a little. And once again, you're cutting MDF. So don't forget your dust mask. And here's our piece, pretty inconspicuous, and as you can see, our dock just sits right in like that. Now, should the Roomba want to come in here and dock, it cannot spin this dock anywhere. And these corners here will coincide with the corner of our wall. Now, if this were to be a docking station that was flat against a wall, we wouldn't have that problem of this thing turning because the wall would stop it. But because it's in the corner, it needs that little bit of extra support. So you know what? Let's take this thing in, put it where it goes, and let's try it and see how it works. Well, that seemed to work great. So now that we've done our little test, I'm going to hit this uh, triangle with uh, one quick sanding at 220. Again, don't forget the dust mask. And then uh, that would be it for this little project. <laughs> And there you have it, quite possibly one of the simplest projects I've ever produced on my show. Um, but like I said, if there's just one of you out there whose wife has one of these units and has the same problem um, and this helps you out, then the show was well worth doing and well worth making. Uh, may seem silly to some of you, maybe the majority, but it just takes one for me to do a show. Now, you could take this as far as you want. You could, of course, in the back corner, which is tight against the wall, you could build a little tray uh, in the back of there that could hold the, the cleaning tools for the, the beater bars of this vacuum. Or maybe a small Phillips screwdriver for taking apart the feeler mechanism. Uh, you could paint it. You could uh, color it. You, you could do whatever you want. But this here is the basic premise of um, I'm not even sure what we call this. The docking station stabilizer, maybe? Who knows? But uh, I hope it's helped you out. But guys, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, we're going to see you again next week with yet another woodworking video. A vacuum accessory. I filmed a vacuum accessory.